Morris Mall. There was a mole who lived with his big brothers. Today they dug, they ate, and they slept. The littlest mole was Morris, and he was just a bit different from the rest. One day his biggest brother announced, we have run out of food. Then we must dig down even farther, the second biggest brother declared. The rest of the brothers agreed. Except for Morris, I have an idea, but no one heard him. Let's go, brothers, all the moles shouted, digging and dig, digged and digged further down, deep into the ground. Morris shouted his idea even louder, but still no one heard him. He knew what he had to do. He was scared, but he dug deep down and found his courage. I may be small, but I do big things, said Morris. So Morris did something none of his brothers had ever done. He dug up. There he goes. And this is what he found. Look at all of those colors. He had never smelled anything so sweet, heard a song so pretty, met folks so friendly, or felt so at peace. And Morris had never tasted anything so scrumptious. He was having such a good time, he almost forgot why he was there. So he gathered up all sorts of delicious things to eat, like crunchy, creepy crawlies, crumptious snails, wonderful wiggly worms, tiny tasty fishies, yummy nuts and lovely caterpillars. And then he picked what he thought was particularly big, beautiful blackberries. But it wasn't. It belonged to a very angry fox. He took one look at the mole and was about to swallow him up in one gulp. The fox suddenly heard a loud growl. Hide me, please, said the fox. Always happy to help, replied Morris. He began to dig and dig and dig and dig. Hey, Pipsqueak, growled a wolf. Where's that lousy fox? I don't know, Morris said, even though he already did. So the wolf left. The fox thanked Morris. And then he and his friends helped find food for the little mole. Morris thanked the fox. Back underground, Morris surprised his brothers with a feast. Great job, Morris, his brother said. I may be small, Morris said, but I can do big things. The end.